Okay, so I just tried starting a prediction, and the prediction was just named, How y'all feel about green beans? That's literally all it was. Apparently, how y'all feel about green beans is not compliant with the content guidelines. <laughs> we can't talk about green beans on Who Twitch. Who shut you down, get Twitch? Shut down. Twitch, bro. How y'all feel about green you beans? That's literally this all my time. This name is not compliant with yeah. our content <laughs> I shot him with a Glock, he couldn't have died. Aw shit, welcome to Payday 2, the only game where you can god damn it. The video is about a comically large spoon, not a comically large woman. Can't you go find a pickup basketball game or something? Bruh. Jesus Christ. Welcome to Payday 2, a game where four clowns attempt to save a game developer from bankruptcy by doing literally anything for money. Doesn't matter if it's cooking meth or stealing nuclear weapons. Yeah, I need you to break into this warehouse and steal this package. That's it. And you break in, and inside the package are like nuclear warheads. And you're just like, what are you gonna do with these dukes? Eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> and today, fuck my finger. Ow. Ow. Today, we're keeping it comical yet casual. More casual. Not that casual. Wait, go back. Give me some goggles? Casual. Because eight months ago, we had the comically stupid idea of bullying the Payday 2 developers into adding a comically large spoon to the game by dropping some not-so-subtle hints. I really like the, uh, the comically large boxing gloves. A comically large spoon? Now, like, I want that. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I swear yeah. to God, oh, Almir Listo will definitely oh, add man. that if we bully oh, him I would enough. use that so much. Once again proving that bullying gets results. I don't care if it gets me demonetized, bullying is an extremely useful tool. Shut the fuck up, YouTube. Because as of April Fool's Day, the comically large spoon is now in the game, and it's not a piece of shit either. This thing hits like the second shot of the vaccine. Yeah, it'd be bad. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he stepped out. Out of the car. Well, they work, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Overkill even held the challenge of killing 5 million people with the spoon, and anyone who contributed at least 100 kills unlocked a comically large spoon of gold that hits even harder and has a percentage chance to set people on fire. That cloaker said, I'm out. He got set on fire, and he just jumped into the bathroom. He was like, I'm not dealing with this shit. And you assholes killed 5 million people and unlocked it in like 48 hours, with servers overrun by psychopaths torching entire police forces with a giant piece of cutlery. One of those psychos just took out our guys with a spoon. <laughs> Man, I did six tours in Iraq just to get smacked in the jaw with a golden spoon. <laughs> with the 24K Giga Chad spoon. <laughs> the Payday Twitter man himself, Almir Listo, even asked me ballin', but at what cost on Twitter? If that isn't a sign that I need to swing this spoon for all it's worth, I don't know what is. Rattle him, boys. <laughs> oh my god. So dispensing with all this background bullshit, let's dig into this damn spoon. Dig a tunnel with the spoon. Dig to China like you were told you could as a kid. Hopefully you don't experience any human rights violations on the way. God, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> God damn it, I just could I could not. <laughs> Using the comically large spoon is the most fun I've ever had in Payday 2 because it is so good, so satisfying, and so stupid all at the same time. Oh, he disappeared. I made that man panic. I ran the sociopath perk deck purely because the thought of Jacket the Chicken Man running at FBI agents with a giant spoon while spamming a tape recorder seemed pretty funny at the time. I'd like to invite you to my party. I love how the FBI just slowly back away as a lone man with a spoon approaches. <laughs> I swear, this is not a build video because, duh, I already did that for sociopath, but I'll still admit, if one of you assholes could pull off a stealth build with this hulking spoon, I'd be mighty impressed. I hit shift tab to go online on my friends list. What's the first thing that I see? Stealth build 2021. <laughs> his name is based. His yeah, fucking name is based. <laughs> Look at his profile picture on the right, though. Pepe in a rather dapper tuxedo. The panic mechanic on Sociopath is perfect for the spoon, with enemies going into short bursts of uncontrollable fear, basically shitting themselves at the sight of you committing mass murder with a spoon. Who do you want to be today? You can go anywhere. You can be anyone. Who do you want to be? Yeah. So I'm just mailing Look, every They just dream. panicked in sync, and this dude's like, just out of his mind. What am I? Where am I? How am I? Look at that fear. Look at that. Look at that panic. 
You're so scared. And once I realized you could put that same fear into bulldozers, yeah, those bulldozers, man, did that hit some type of way. I've never felt more like Scarecrow in my entire life. Soon this city will know what fear is. What real fear is. We're really just running certain <laughs> <laughs> the idiot. The buffoon is flummoxed. The buffoon is flummoxed. Look at him. The buffoon is flummoxed. And the counter is so perplexed by everybody hitting him with a spoon. There's something so cursed about meeting a bulldozer and it just starts yelling in Spanish. Bulldozer, prepárense pendejos. Hijo de puta, sácala para el banco. <laughs> Is that, is that panic? Is that what down. this is? I can panic a bulldozer? That's so fucking weird. It's like a mosquito got in a suit or something. <laughs> Oh, you just made him like despawn. You hit him so hard. Cloakers are in the same boat. At least if you run Counter Strike Ace, that automatically knocks them flat on the ass if they try to drop kick you to the point they start avoiding you. Like, oh shit, that guy's got a spoon. I'm gonna kick somebody else. Oh, uh, never do. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Division Two, and that was like 20. Yeah, Counter Strike, bitch. Yeah. Come Speech here, clo clunker, clunker. Come on. <laughs> Come on, at least hit me, Spider-Man, you dumbass. Come on. Of course for the police brutality. Fucked yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the police are here. Hey, hey the police are here. <laughs> Cloaker! It's okay, I'll get it. Yeah. Being arrested. <laughs> think Dallas, think. Oh, really think you were faster than a cloak. <laughs> Mark, you don't understand. He's a what? rapper and he points at his head. He says, <laughs> let's go. No, you can just throw the bags through the skyline. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the fuck was he that? He just here? looked at you like, think. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, think right, Cloaker. I'm trading you in. If you really wanted to kick me, you would have jumped up here an hour ago. Oh, perfect, like, perfect. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Around. No, why did he skip out on me? What the fuck? He can't, that's so stupid. I don't know. Sees the man with the spoon, runs right past him. Not fucking yeah. with that guy. I was so dedicated to the spoon, I unbound my right click to aim down sight, replaced it with my melee button, and searched for the perfect primary weapon to complement my cutlery. Starting with Glocks, because they've got a lot of bullets, right? Guys, so I degrading. shot him with a Glock. He couldn't have died. <laughs> 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 Glocks go bird. Then I was thinking Flammenwerfer because who cares about the stopping power of bullets when I can literally reduce someone to atoms, whether they be a security guard, FBI agent, or household pest. Anyone who fears a cockroach has never seen the video of the guy with the blowtorch. The blow torch. <laughs> <laughs> literally incinerating, obliterating, literally reduced to atoms. That's not even a Thanos joke. Dallas's facial expression is so good for that. Just <laughs> someone incinerating a cockroach. Just like yeah. the evil satisfaction of it all. You actually changed that cockroach's state of matter. <laughs> you transferred its atoms into another form. I use buckshot for roaches. Yup, must be my chat. But I also wanted something that would fit my current aesthetic, which I can only call Vietnam Veteran Venom, with an appetite so massive the spoon is actually an appropriate size. Vietnam yeah, I'm right Veteran here. right there. <laughs> oh no. This ain't <laughs> it. This ain't <laughs> it. Oh, it gets even fucking worse when he's in that. Oh, <laughs> Stand stop. <laughs> Dick out. <laughs> Tell me about the rabbits, George. <laughs> what? The, okay, I'm just now seeing Badger's skin. What the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't have to be like this, bro. I wasn't gonna use the Garand, even though I thought it fit well, because you guys need a break from the M1. Like, I love it as much as you guys do, but not in every fucking video. Jack, well, thanks to your 36 months, dog. That's a long time. Uh, no. <laughs> He was waiting. He was literally <laughs> waiting for it the entire time. If you didn't read that sub, he would be so disappointed. <laughs> so I landed with a Mossberg 12 gauge tactical shotgun. American, powerful, reliable, American, and most importantly, American. It truly is my favorite everyday carry sniper rifle. <laughs> I got that sniper with this shotgun somehow. This shotgun's amazing. And by the time my loadout was solidified, it was pure fun from then on out. We even had Martin join the heist, so Overkill might want to update the lore because Mozzie is now canonically in the Payday 2 cinematic universe. I can't fucking believe it. But to be truthful, you do have the Milky Way in America. I've never seen it here. Okay, hold up. I'm not gonna <laughs> rain on Martin's parade. <laughs> 
But the Milky Way is the galaxy that contains our solar system. <laughs> so if we didn't have the Milky Way, we would be pretty <laughs> fucked. Guys, pretty is, this, is that really true, though? <laughs> yeah. really you idiots believe in the moon? And I swear I'm not pulling your leg. I'm waiting for somebody to ask, is that like the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Is that like the galaxy? <laughs> Where'd that shit at? Where'd that in the sky? Much like any special guest we ever add to the squad, I accidentally made him feel alienated and old for no reason. I really wish I could stop doing that. Shit, hang on, my dad's calling me. I'll be back in a second. Tell your dad you're robbing a bank. Dad, I'm robbing a bank. Dad, I'm robbing a bank. I'll call you back. He's got dementia. Oh, freaky man. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be really bad. Don't do that. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Run it back. Run it back. There was this show that was made in 1994. We're not off to a good start because I was born in 92. Unless I was a little baby watching this show. You were not born in 92. Yeah, I'm born in 92. I'm 28. Oh, my God. That's out of control. Yep. Well, <laughs> wait. How's that out of- wait, what? <laughs> I just forget how old I am. It's horrifying. That happens to me all the time, Martin, of like, wait a minute, people were born after the year 2000? That shit ain't real. That's not I real. Know. Playing with Martin just reminds me how America first I am. Because I assume everybody knows the history of America, what's going on in America, and that we now have a comically large president in America. But apparently that's not the case. Ronald Reagan, that's good. No, I'm not. No, that's just, George, I'm George W. Bush. W. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Who saw the picture of Jimmy Carter and Joe Biden where they look comically large and comically small? Are you okay? I swear. Are you okay? I swear. Jimmy Carter looks comically small. Posted in general, Heavenly. That's not a real picture. That's a real ass picture. That is bullshit. There's no way that's real. That's a joke. Joe Biden looks like King Kong. Jimmy Carter. Oh, it looks like a damn Roblox character. No way. <laughs> this is That's real, not, bro. Jimmy Carter's wife looks like a damn ventriloquist dog, bro. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Carter in the photo. He oh, like Jimmy like Carter Freddy. looking like Mini Drake. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. Mini Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That focal length That's is so the, bad. But even a comically large president will never be as cursed as default Dallas. There isn't a character out there, whether it be Thanos or Master Chief or Isaac Clark. Clark that is more cursed to see in their default state than the most American heister alive. Ah! Oh, that's super cursed. You don't want that. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why the fuck I find just default Dallas so hilarious. Yes, so uh, Oh, I heard it, Grouse. I heard it. Which one? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Like oh, like fuck. Like standing in front of a dozer. I know you like to see it. So we can move to Are Golden they? Dallas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then or we can like move to yeah. Minecraft Dallas. <laughs> and then we can move on to Cell Shaded Dallas. Oh and then we can go God. on to Beat Up Dallas. <laughs> Why do I have so many Dallas fans? Yo, what the Dallas doing? What the Dallas, Dallas doing? And then we got the Chrome Dallas. <laughs> got the good Chrome Dome Dallas. It was me, oh, Dallas. Dallas. I'm the one who forced you to do Overdrill at <laughs> First World Bank. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. <laughs> I will admit, though, as far as cursed images go, the abomination grouse created by the name of Couch Mandalabamian comes very close to default now. When I was streaming this, I got paid a lot of money to make the most disgusting mask. So I created Couch Mandalorian <laughs> Obama. <laughs> I like what? the Mando Obama. It's Dude. Couch Mando Joe Bama. Oh, Mando Bama. Hey, my bad. I'm sorry. Mando I'm sorry. Bama. It's my, it's my, it's my fucking religion, you intolerant sorry, piece I'm of sorry, shit. I'm sorry. I love God, my it's the worst mask I've ever made. I'd like to give a final shout out to Almir Listo, Overkill, the Payday Gang, and all of you out there that made the comically large spoon possible. You guys are the ones that made this thing blow up the way it did. I was just a tiny spark. And on that note, play Payday 2. I find it hilarious that the Payday 2 Twitter account constantly tweets that out because you'd think that if someone is dedicated enough to follow Payday on Twitter, they already play the game. But that doesn't stop them one bit. They just keep letting it rip. Wait a minute. I want people to play Paycheck 2. I love retweeting Payday Twitter, man, with just the quote tweet, consume Payday content. And finally, I now have a TikTok and a second channel for short form shit posts because these videos usually take a month to make and there's so much motion capture and animation and shit posts involved, I may as well show you what I'm working on and give you a small preview of the upcoming video. I'm very much 
a boomer-ass desktop person, but apparently all you Zoomers consume everything on your phones in this tall-ass aspect ratio. So fine, if you want to see tiny bits of videos before the full video is out, you can hit it up down below. Or don't. I don't really care because they're all shit posts anyway. Neptune relies on coconut.jpg to survive. <laughs> it literally does. I don't know why this image of a coconut is here, but when I remove it, the game does not run. Yo, what if you Whatever remove you it? Do, what do what not if you put a different it. JPEG in there? But call it coconut. You would know that there's a fake. The antibodies would come and <laughs> suss it out. <laughs>